they already have the evidence. We had specific questions that had to be asked for each case to be sure that we were actually, A, that we had the evidence, and we did in a lot of cases, and B, but the evidence would have value. Now Denver investigators have the money they hope will help solve dozens of cold cases. $500,000 for Denver police, prosecutors, and the crime lab. So that we may proceed on solving homicide and sexual assault cases for which a suspect has been identified, but in which prosecutors have not yet been able to file charges. DPD says those 72 cases include eight violent sex assaults and 64 homicides, ranging from 1970 to 2016. And this grant actually encompasses not just DNA, but firearms, fingerprints, any other technology that could help to bring resolution to these cases. All of this goes towards giving our family members, our co-victims, hope. Robert Wells also lost a family member to homicide. He now leads the Families of Homicide Victims and Missing Persons organization. Police haven't said which Denver cold cases are on this new list. At the end of the day, we're hopeful. We hope that it's going to be one of our cases, but law enforcement, the biggest frustration as a co-victim is that they're not going to come right out and tell us what they're doing until they're ready to. And we as co-victims have to be patient. These violent crime cold cases are among the most challenging of all co cold cases. So the potential to see justice for more than 70 fa families is really exciting and very powerful. Jennifer Meckles, 9 News.